On August 18, the Britannia departed from Southampton for a Mediterranean cruise with stops in Cadiz, Ibiza, and Palma de Mallorca in Spain. On August 27, 2023, in Palma de Mallorca, where the liner was moored, a storm suddenly struck with heavy rain and hail, accompanied by strong winds up to 55 miles per hour. The liner broke its mooring while in the port, then crossed the harbor and collided with the moored oil tanker Castillo de Arteaga. Passengers said the unexpected drama happened as the local fire department and crew were conducting emergency drills. At about 11 a.m., sudden rain and a storm blew the ship off its moorings, damaging tether lines, water hoses, and causing the walkway to fall into the sea. The cruise ship sailed away from the pier and collided with a tanker. There was a frenzy on board as the sun loungers started to roll over. The rain was so heavy that passengers couldn't see anything from the ship's windows. After the ship broke free from the pier, it sailed away like a paper boat. The staff couldn't do anything else. Another passenger said that the ship approached the rocks of the breakwater in the harbor and heard a very loud noise and grinding. They praised the actions of the staff and said that the captain of the ship received news regularly. It was reported that a small number of people on the British ship received minor injuries and were being treated at the onboard medical center. The storm is likely to be one of the most severe thunderstorms to hit the Balearic Islands. Heavy rains and wind gusts up to 120 km per hour hit the islands. According to Spain's airport operator, these conditions have led to the cancellation of more than 20 flights. The captain informed the passengers that there are no structural failures on the ship, but the fifth deck received minor damage through the public address system. A spokesman for P&O Cruises said they were aware of the incident with the ship and were working to assess the situation. Citizen McCoy said that everyone was safe and there were no problems on the ship, except for a few scratches and bumps on one or more lifeboats protruding from the ship. Many people who go on bus excursions will be able to return to the cruise ship later. Passengers will have access to in-flight entertainment and activities while technical teams evaluate how the ship was damaged in the storm, P&O said. The cruise started in Southampton and should return by September 1st. MV Britannia is a cruise ship of the P&O Cruises fleet. She was built by Fincantieri at their shipyard in Italy. This is the flagship of the fleet, which has taken the honor of Oriana. The £473 million ship entered service in 2015 and was named Queen Elizabeth II. Its first captain was Paul Brown. On the nose of the liner is a 94-meter Union flag, the largest of its kind in the world. The length of the cruise liner is 330 meters, the width is 38 meters. The passenger capacity is 3,647 people, and the crew consists of 1,398 people. During the summer season, Britannia visits the Mediterranean Sea, the Norwegian fjords, the Baltic, the Canary and Atlantic islands. In winter, the ship operates 14-day itineraries in the Caribbean.